Oh, what is this? I think she dropped this. Hello, excuse me, dear. This is mine, mine, mine. What? Sorry. Thank you. Okay. This one? Oh, you let card. Hello. Hello, 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 hello to you. <laughs> How are you? Good? Yeah. What does your shirt say? What? Hating me won't make you pretty. Ah, true. Very true. Good day, good evening, my friends. Today we are checking out the Kuala Lumpur nightlife. Nightlife in Malaysia, something that some people may not correlate with Malaysia, might not uh, usually assume there's too much nightlife here, you know? Being a Muslim country, a lot of people not drinking. Uh, yeah, my, I myself, you know, assumed there's little to no nightlife here, but I was told otherwise, so. We're gonna check it out. I'm in uh, Bukit Bintang. I'm on Changkat. That is the street, you know, famous, popular nightlife street. Here can be a little bit uh, crazy over here. So we're gonna see what it's what it's like. I hear it's a it's quite mixed uh, in a sense of you know a lot of working women. Um, it's not really just like clubs over here. It's it's seemingly. From what I'm seeing from a distance, a lot of bars um, and potentially, yeah, like working women, ladies of the night. Um, not exactly what I'm looking for, but we're gonna check it out. We're gonna check out the landscape and, uh, you know, just see what's going on. Looks like there's a crazy amount of bars. I, I will say that much. A lot of people over here, tons of people over here. Um, you know, we can kind of see already uh, on the sides here, you know, we kind of see what really goes on on streets like this or on this street specifically uh, which I haven't really seen uh, in Malaysia to be honest you know uh, so that's interesting that's interesting um, but nothing wrong with that you know that's uh, it's just part of the nightlife year or at least over here I'm sure I got some recommendations some nice lists of like clubs and places to go away from this area uh, and those people seem to say that this area is a little bit dicey, a little sketchy, but we're gonna check it out. Hello, how are you? <laughs> uh, you know, it's, let's see what time it is. It's 11. Wow, that took too long. It's 11 p.m. Uh, so people are probably on one by now, a little drunk, a little, you know, uh, tipsy, a little, they're into the night, you know, and so maybe we can get some interesting reactions or footage out here if people are uh, feeling social, you know? Interesting, okay. You know, some people don't like the camera. <laughs> That's okay. That's all right. I, I won't film people too much if they don't want to be filmed, you know, but I'm gonna switch it back and forth, filming my face, filming, filming the environment, filming people, but I will try not to film too many, like, working women who don't want to be filmed, you know? It's kind of, it's rude. Uh, but, you know, what can you do? Let's see. These places are absolutely full. Really full. Much more busy over here than anticipated. I mean, it's Saturday night, of course. I tried to make this video last weekend and uh, it rained. And so I, I ended up just going home. It didn't stop. <laughs> and there wasn't many people out because of the rain. So I said, let me do it next weekend. But yeah, both sides of the street just lined with bars lined with people completely full completely full you know i thought about filming with the flash on because it's nighttime can get a better picture but that's that's a lot to film on a street like this with flash is, is pushing the limits so I'm, I'm gonna keep it a little dark today with the the video it's nighttime you know i don't do very many nighttime videos for that reason but you know, I think a street like this, we have to. Uh, yeah, I'll do a walk down both sides, you know. And then we'll also check out Jalan Allure Food Street. I did a video on it, but I went earlier, much earlier, around 5 p.m. Uh, so I know it's going to be slammed. Uh, by comparison, it's going to be much different. So we'll check it out. You know, I, I did say that street was way overrated. And I, I'm sure even on a Saturday night, I, I'm going to feel the same way. But but it's worth checking out and I think uh, maybe we can catch some kind of vibe of the people, you know, maybe that, that could change a lot, you know, if people are having a good time, uh, you know, changes a lot. 
It makes it more interesting. There's something to enjoy other than the overrated food stalls. Sorry. The blind man. I shouldn't really be in his way, you know? Um, okay. All right, we're going to cross this little intersection. We got a little moment of peace here. Got a lot of people, a lot of tourists from all over the world, obviously. See a lot more white people. Um, or just a lot more people, I'd say, from, like, America, from Australia, from UK, in general over here. Not just white people. You see African Americans over here, too. Um, but, yeah, a lot more than you would see in other areas. Um, okay, yeah, let's pop over here. I think maybe we'll be approaching Jalan Alor Food Street pretty soon. Um, the other side actually looks more bar heavy. Like on the, yeah, the other side of the street. Looked a little crazy. Um, even over here, a lot of people, it's like a lot of people kind of uh, badgering people. I, I don't think people will badger me because I'm, because I'm filming. I think if I wasn't filming, <laughs> people would be constantly harassing me because I see it happening to other people. Uh, who, who aren't filming so that is one benefit of filming is that people won't really bother me so much <laughs> uh, but let's see let's see if some people still hawk me a little bit it's happening to everybody else oh there's a lot of massages here Jesus Christ Jesus Christ I think these are uh, massage uh, okay okay I don't think these are just regular massages. I think these are special massages for sure. Probably full body, full service, probably the works, you know, something along those lines is what I would imagine. Now, I don't really know the lay of the land, but you can usually get a feeling pretty quickly um, what's going on. And I think that's what's going on, you know. Again, that's okay. That's. You know, I live in Thailand. This is not, this does not seem weird to me or anything like that. I will tell you. Um, you know, I'm also, I mean, I'm from America. I'm not Muslim. I'm, and I live in Thailand. So this is very, uh, this is just another day for me, right? But interesting to see is I, I've not been on the street, so it is, it is new. It's still different, but I can spot some similarities. Let's say that much. Uh, still a little bit more uh, contained, I would say, overall. <laughs> Some people really looking at me like I'm nuts. <laughs> That's typical. Okay, we are over here on the food street. Now, should I pop down the food street and then we'll, we'll walk on the other side of the um, Chang Kat? Should we continue down here a little bit further? I think, I think this, the nightlife part of that street kind of ends there. You know, I think we should pop down the food street because it looks very busy. Uh, it looks very lively at the moment. Just just kind of see what's going on. Maybe grab, you know, I might grab a, a skewer. I might grab, there, there's like some Wagyu beef. It's actually all the way at the beginning. kind of want to get a Wagyu beef skewer because, yeah, I can't eat so much here, but I can definitely eat a skewer of beef with salt. That will do me good. Hello, how are you? Good? <laughs> Hi. Hello. Where are you from? China. China? Nice, cool. <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of people over here. Thankfully though, not too hard to walk around. Not too, too slammed. I've been over here on another night even. I, th I think it was last Friday or Sunday, uh, but it was like, yeah, 10 p.m. I wanna say, and it was, it was rammed. Like you really couldn't even walk. Uh, hello. How are you? Hello, Ruth. Yeah? Yeah. Good dinner? <laughs> dinner? Oh, Thai food. Yeah, Thai food. Nice. No, not today. I th thank you, though. All right, maybe yes. tomorrow. Yeah, I'm making nightlife video, trying to show the nightlife here. Yeah? Hi. Hello. <laughs> okay, maybe yes. see you tomorrow. Are you Thai? Yeah. Yeah? Where from? Where in Thailand? Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai? Yeah. Very what good. The? Nice. Nice yeah. to meet you, bro. Okay. <laughs> Chiang Mai. Checking in. Yeah, but I see food. Hey, no, thank you, sir. Yes, sir. The guy didn't look Thai to me, but he probably was. What, what do I know? I don't know anything. But, uh, hmm. Yeah, a lot of sweets. You know, there's a lot of sweets here. Now, I won't. I won't do too much of like uh, checking out all of the food. You know, this is not a food video, but 
I think it, it kind of fuses with the nightlife. It's a Saturday night. You know, a lot of people, especially in Malaysia, uh, I'd say food is a big part of the nightlife. It's a big part of the weekend. It's, you know, a lot of people don't drink. Uh, so people like to eat. People like to enjoy food instead. Uh, or, of course, both. You know, I think naturally people who are on that street enjoying that street are going to come enjoy this street as well, like in the same night. Uh, now it gets a little bit busier as you get towards this end, for sure. Um, yeah. Many people, many tourists here. I mean, this is a tourist street. I, I don't, not too many locals coming and hanging out on this street or coming to eat on this street in general. Very good. A little live music. Trying to set an atmosphere for the uh, Jalanalore food street. Yeah, a lot of Chinese um, restaurants, a lot of Thai actually. That's mostly what you will see on the street, Chinese and like some Thai food. Um, yeah. Got some squid here. Mm. Uh, mm. You know, I can do squid without the sauce, but it, it's squid is a little bit hit or miss uh, when you buy it on the street, or, or in general, squid's hit or miss. And it, if you don't put the sauce, if you don't put soy sauce, it's more miss oftentimes. So uh, I don't go for it too often, even though I love squid. Uh, I tend to avoid it now a lot of times. Hmm, okay. Funny, I, the, the people who look the most interested, like, uh, the fact that I'm vlogging are, are like, seemingly, like, Americans, Europeans. <laughs> I don't know if it's, if it's less common to them. Maybe, maybe they watch a lot of vlogs. Um, yeah, I would say, like, Indians, not that interested. Uh, sometimes they are, but less interested. Um, same with uh, Chinese. I think they're interested, but not as often. Maybe if I was a Chinese vlogger, they would they would look at me like uh, differently. You know, <laughs> maybe that's what it is. You see your own people vlogging in like this foreign country, like filming in the foreign country. Maybe it sparks some kind of like something in the head, something in the mind. And that, that's probably what I notice. You know. Um. Yeah, I, I'm definitely gonna grab one of them wagyu skewers, and then we will pop back down the street, and we will go down the crazy side of the nightlife street. Um, I could tell the other side was like where it was slammed and people were really partying and yeah, it was different. The side I was on, you know, you could see from the video, like a lot of women just kind of hanging out on the side. Beautiful women actually, I, you know, very unexpectedly, but you, know, you, you kind of know what's going on. That's all, that's all. Yeah. Um, I wasn't sure 100% like if I should go to a club or something like that, but I, I felt like that's very hard to film. It's very hard to like... Ah, hello, hello. From Thailand? You're from Thailand. Where are you from? Where? I'm from Chicken Okay, okay, okay. You cooking, you cooking? Thailand. Okay, okay. Hello. Where are you from? US. You're not Thai. <laughs> Where in the US are you from? Maine. Maine. Oh, nice. Where are you from? Philadelphia. But I moved. Pretty close, right? Yeah. I moved to New York like for a long time. Though you spend any time in New York? Yeah, I've been to the city a bunch. Yeah. Everyone says Maine is amazing. You work here or no? You, are you just <laughs> okay? I don't drink, so this is more fun. I was like, he's even either having a little bit of fun, or he's like, he. No, no, no. He's just getting by tonight. He needs yeah. to, he needs a little cash. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. What's your name? Frank. Frank, good to meet you. I'm Ben. Nice to meet you. Ben. Yeah, yeah. Take care. All right. Have a good night. Right. See you. That's cool. <laughs> you just don't see that every day, right? <laughs> I don't know why it really stands out. Yeah, you can catch a nice feeling in some spots, right? It, it, it's it's kind of nice. Like I said, there's a good atmosphere. People are having fun, uh, you know. People are in a good mood. Um, like the other video I made about it being overrated, that's just like my initial experience and the title of the video. 
And it, yeah, it's how I felt. It's how I truly felt. But if I'm coming on a night like this over here, I'm coming, yeah, I'm in positive spirits. I'm having a good time. I'm not thinking, oh, this this place sucks. It, it's not like that. So don't, don't feel like that. Uh, but, you know, it, it's like so, it's become so famous and like known from people who, who have not even visited yet. And, and everybody who comes here, it's like the place they want to visit. And it's just like, oh, there's a lot of places you can go that are that are much cooler, more interesting, or, or better food, or mo more food, stuff like that. So that's all it is. But we're getting close to the Wagyu, and I'm hungry. Oh, here it is. Here it is. The Wagyu skewers. Looks like someone's already queuing up for one. I'm going to ask him if he's eaten it before. Okay, you getting some skewer? Did you eat it before? Never try it. Okay, I'm going to try too. Uh, yeah, I try one. Can you make no sauce? Just please salt, only salt. Yes. It's okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. This is this is the size. Yeah, just yes. Little. Okay. This size one for twenty five. If you say two for forty, only three hundred is good. Two for forty. Yes. Mmm. Two for forty. Yeah, maybe two. Maybe two. I think it's good. Eight dollars. It's not bad. It's fine. All right. Look at this. I mean, I don't know if this is the real meat. Is it real or is this one fake? It's an artificial. Artificial, right? <laughs> okay. It's like what they use in commercials for fast food. Some like special good looking fake food. Okay, I'm gonna order this. Uh, continue in a second. Okay. I got my two skewers here. Got the flash on because I'm in a dark little spot. Found a little seat over here. I was actually chatting up the the other kid who was that guy who was buying it uh super nice guy from jakarta we had a nice chat he was filming and i was like you vlogger and uh just started to talk he was really cool kid anyways oh already dropped some all right all right let's try it out if they put sauce on this i'll be upset i'll know right away i'll know right away i didn't see them do it though so let's try this Whoa. Wow. Woo, that was unexpectedly good. Melt in your mouth. Really nice flavor. Yeah, it's just salt and pepper on there. That is phenomenal. Woo, unexpectedly good. Mmm. Ooh. <laughs> that is really good. I've eaten a lot of beef, a lot of Wagyu beef in my life too. That's good. Mm. I mean, for like a street spot too, that's very good. Okay, I'm really glad I got two. Eight dollars, I mean, you know. How are you, good? I didn't say that it's uh, pricey, but for what it is, and the fact that I'm just eating this, I think it's reasonable. I think it's okay. Mm. That is good. Woo! I just didn't expect it to be that good, or the flavor is much different. So it's a deep flavor profile on that. Holy, mm. extremely savory, extremely like, you know, fatty and yeah, it melts. Mm. Very good. Oh yeah, the little piece that I dropped on the, the cement, dropped a little piece on the ground. I mean, I'm gonna eat that because it's very good. And see it uh, died down a bit. Not so crowded anymore. Uh, still a lot of people, but you know, there's not as many. Uh, it's like 11:30 now. You know, every time I would turn off the camera, I end up like having a nice chat with like another tourist. Um, but this time it was uh, well, actually no, sorry, it was a Malaysian guy, but he actually lived in New York um, for some time, and then he like just came back to Malaysia. He's not a tourist. <laughs> Uh, but it was like super cool. Um, I'm always impressed by how well Malaysian people speak English. I mean, of course this guy lived in New York, but pretty much every single Malaysian person here that I've met speaks really good English. Like, yeah, just like always a bit surprised by it. <laughs> a lot of kids having fun here. Yeah, the energy is good here. The energy is good, you know, all around. Oh, no, thank you.
even the you know the, the workers the people who are you know who hassle people to come into the restaurant it's not too bad it's not it's not like intense they're not bothersome they're, they're a bit playful um you know they don't want to bother you in a big way um yeah it, I don't like to go somewhere and get too hassled. So, again, maybe sometimes with the camera, they're much less likely to uh, to hassle me in general, almost anywhere. Um, you know, I recall uh, just a couple of months ago being in Bali, and uh, they just would constantly hassle you for motorbike, 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 and then try to sell you drugs. They're trying to sell you all kinds of drugs there. And then you turn the camera on and it's those same guys when you walk by they're just like welcome to bali welcome to bali <laughs> but they would never just say that if, if there was no camera so it's very funny uh, and i bet the same thing over here like all these massage spots they would be hounding me if i did not have the camera on <laughs> they just don't want to be on camera doing that you know so yeah we're gonna go back to the nightlife street chong kot we're gonna check out the other side um, yeah, again, really good energy over here. I think everybody, you know, a lot of people riding a nice little buzz. People probably had a couple of beers by now. They got a full belly. They ate some good food. Uh, <laughs> yeah, people are, yeah, people are happy. People are, are excited. You know, it's a bit uh, contagious if other people are really enjoying themselves. It, it kind of puts you in the same headspace, you know, so can really feed off the energy of other people around you. Okay. All right, we are almost there. We're, I'm not even going to bother to cut the video and, and, and start it up there. We're literally like steps away. Yeah. Cool. Well, I ended up just uh, taking a taxi over here. It was pretty dang cheap. I mean, I think it was around, yeah, it was 26 ring it. I mean, I, I use the wait and save option. You can kind of just wait like an extra couple of minutes on grab and, and save some money. And so, yeah, $5 to come like a decent distance on a Saturday night, not bad. Um, and if the train is running to go back, I'm gonna take the train. I just wanted to get over here by a good time. And actually, yeah, the, the timing worked out really well. I got over here just when it was like perfectly busy. I was wondering when's, when are people really like out here partying in, in Malaysia? You know, is it 10 p.m.? Is it midnight? Is it 2 a.m.? Uh, I don't think it's like a super late city. Like, I don't think coming out at 2 a.m. would be the move. And so that's kind of why I came out a little bit earlier. I still have this. I need to throw this away. You know, I've been looking for a trash can the whole time. <laughs> Anyways, we're back on the streets. You know, people getting hounded. Uh, the Soho, you know, get your manicure, pedicure. A lot of people getting a uh, massage in there. Full house almost, I'd say. Uh, all right, let's see. Yeah, I bet the most crowded time, to me, I'm guessing the, the most crowded time on the streets out here is like 9 p.m., 10 p.m., right? Am, am I right in saying that? I would love to hear some input in the comments. Uh, you know, like, what is the most lively times? Uh, and as well, like, what are some other areas that you find, like, lively nightlife spots? Um, I like to hear about it. Uh, yeah, so a lot of bars up ahead. On the other side, again, it's just all massage spots. Like, this first stretch on the other side that we walked past, it's literally just, like, eight massage... Many massage spots. There's some fireworks going on. Uh, it is actually a holiday coming up I, I apologize i forget the name you know but uh you know the end of ramadan i believe it is some festivities you know like i think it's a lot of like family festivity type deal oh. trash can it looks like a trash can but <sighs> trash bags but yeah holiday time um i think the city's a bit more busy right now because of it uh it feels like that way and the hotels went up in price the flights went up everything is up uh, like big time so yeah I think it's like festivity time um, yeah just so many massage spots it's like if I came on the street and I entered from Jalana Lore on the other side I would literally just assume like is this whole street just massages I would be like is this the nightlife massages 
Uh, but then you see when you keep going, like there's a bunch of bars actually. So that's good, thankfully. Uh, hi. Good. Some, uh, you know, working African women. Uh, yeah, again, I'd love to throw out this cup. I just don't have anywhere to do that. Oh wow, the hottest girl I just saw. Unfortunately, just a tourist with her boyfriend. We got a club here, the VIP. Oh, Omnia. Okay. Hello. Hip hop. Till till what time? What time? Uh, closing. Till five. Till five. Five. Five a.m. Okay. Hello, Hello, how are you? Good. Where are you from? Mozambique. Um, Mozambique. You? Where? Mozambique. Oh, Mozambique. Yeah. Nice. Uh, from America, New York. Oh, nice. Yeah. Busy? Holiday? Yeah, first time here. Two weeks here now. You? Mozambique. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Been here over a year. Over a year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like? You love it, or you just wanted to leave your country? Yeah. 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 Just to watch. It's clean. It's hot. Yeah, the problem oh. is. Yeah. The way it is, yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. I actually live in Thailand now, but I feel like it's way hotter here. It's like, yeah, it's yeah. more humid here. It's tough. Yeah. It's tough. Your clothes get soaked yeah. every time. Yeah. 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 Mine, mine it is right now. So I'm just trying to yeah. have a beer. So maybe it goes down. What's your name? Layton. Layton. And you? Liku. 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 Ben. Layton or Layton? Do you want to take the channel man? Yeah. Do you watch a lot of like vloggers? Do you watch vloggers? Yeah. Yeah. My bad, my bad. <laughs> Do you party on the street? Do you have some stuff that you like? Yeah, we usually go to VIP. VIP, okay. This one is just a club. Is it hip hop and VIP also? Like hip hop? The VIP is like the name of the club. Yeah. But it's hip hop music? Yeah. Yeah, hip hop music. Okay, folks, I got caught up again a little bit chatting with those kids. A couple of guys from Mozambique. Again, everyone's so cool and uh, friendly, having good conversations out here. They wouldn't let any of them in the club, and they let me go in. They said no shorts for them, and I'm also, I'm wearing shorts as well, and they let me in no problem. But they wouldn't let them in, so very much like a race thing, I guess, or, or what, you know. And they said they even go there quite often. But I went upstairs, hello. I went upstairs and uh, it was dead. So I just walked out immediately. <laughs> uh, I also, oh, what is this? I think she dropped this. Hello, excuse me, dear. Yeah, mine, mine, mine. What? Sorry. Thank you. Okay. This one? Oh, you look good. Hello. Hello, 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 hello to you. <laughs> okay, Jesus Christ. Fucking you. Christ, you're welcome. <laughs> Uh, okay. Anyways, I thought she dropped something, but the, the gentleman dropped it, actually. And I think she didn't want to be filmed. <laughs> okay, all right. Definitely gets a little bit uh, lively over here. This, this is the bar area. This is just like a street, a line of bars. Oh, wow, you can see it's... Uh... Can, I, can I go? No, no. Go film. Okay. <laughs> No filming. People were dancing like crazy. Hello, hello. How are you? Good? Yeah. What does your shirt say? What? Hating me won't make you pretty. Ah, true. Very true. Where are you from? England. England. Yeah. Nice. Uh, well, say again? You're a blogger. Yeah. 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 YouTube. From England. Yeah. You? From England. Also. That's my your daughter? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Daughter? You look same age. Okay, very good. Is it your first time here or no? Yeah. You like it? Yeah, this is crazy. It's a cool city, right? Yeah. Cool. Have a good night, okay? Bye bye. Wow. Oh. <laughs> very good. Uh. Hello, hello. How are you? Good? Yeah? Good, very good. This spot's quite empty. See, some spots are absolutely slammed. And then you have a spot here. Quite empty. Uh, yeah, it's what it is. Interesting. Okay. 
I wonder why that place wouldn't let me film inside. I wonder if, uh, if it's because there's working ladies inside or there was people like really dancing like crazy in there. It looked like a, and like I'm talking like 50, 60 year old like white dudes getting down. It looked pretty fun. I, I wanted to go inside and film it, but I should have put the camera away and then went inside and just uh, pulled it out, but maybe I should have. Anyway, let's continue. Yeah, quite busy these places. Now it's uh, approaching midnight. It is midnight. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah, a lot of bars here. They all have some like sports on. Yeah, they're not exactly sports bars, but like playing sports. Uh, a lot of football, aka soccer, as we call it. Hello. Yeah, fun street. It is a fun street. I gotta say that. You know, everybody's uh, on one. Everybody's nice and tipsy, feeling good. <laughs> uh, sometimes I wish I could drink alcohol. You know, I don't drink because of my stomach problems, but not because of religion or anything like that. Or else I would be drinking for sure. But uh, it's better this way. It's a blessing. It actually, what is this food spot? It looks like. Food? What is this? I think it's just con a convenience store combined with like a uh, food inside. I don't know. <laughs> How are you? Okay. There's some like fancier spots, restaurants across the street here. And here like a tapas bar as well. Yeah, I think when we start getting to the end of the street, it's more like a uh, some restaurants, some ni restaurants, bars, kind of nicer. Uh, and also like uh, hotels, you start to have places to stay over here. Wouldn't be a bad place to stay. I wouldn't want to stay like so close, but, like maybe just, yeah, t I don't know, two minutes down the road. You know, it could be yeah, a cool area to, to stay. You know, if you want to meet people, socialize a lot. I bet the hostels in the area are probably packed and fun, you know? Mm -hmm. Wow, okay, that's the end of that street. That 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 was fun. <laughs> I didn't even go in, I didn't drink anything, but it's fun, especially with the camera. Uh, you know, it gets people going sometimes. Back at these, this intersection, we're almost coming up to the massage strip. Strip of massage shops, once again. Uh, I'm almost tempted to turn off the camera and, and walk through and see if they hassle me in a different way i'm really curious maybe i'll try i'll try and spark up a little bit of uh, interaction with the i don't know like the, the massage folks i don't want to just sit there and, and pretend i'm gonna buy a massage and waste their time necessarily but if i can get a fun reaction be good oh wow that was good some like very hot chicken maybe i don't know what is that sorry guys looks good And yeah, we are definitely getting back to the point where many working women, they do not want to be filmed. It's, uh, it's interesting. What is this spot? Song time massage. Yeah, these are some questionable spots for sure. Some beautiful ladies out here, I will say that. Hello. Hello, how you doing? Good? Where are you from? Malaysia. Yeah? You work here, you live here? Yeah, Okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Hmm. Okay. Well, we are on the strip of massage parlors here again. God, a lot of people, a lot of workers. So many workers out here. You know, almost more workers than people now at this time at midnight. Yeah, more staff than than people on the streets. They did say the, she did say the club closed at 5 a.m. It's very unexpected. I wouldn't expect any of these spots to be going at 5. I mean, it's, it was pretty empty now. If it's empty at midnight, then there's literally going to be nobody at 5, so I don't know. But All right, we're back at Jelana Lore Street here. That was fun, guys. I hope you did enjoy that. Um, drop a thumbs up if you did. 